<laughs> but the carrot is even worse off. Just punching it. Oh my god, it, it's red. It's done. It's, it's it's wow. 20 seconds. It was like 20 yeah. seconds. Alright, so we're using a hurricane with standard, you know, standard missiles, standard, it's just a standard hurricane, there's no components upgraded in here. It's so hard to see my pip and all of that, all of those... Yeah, leave the party. Party. Like, for you, leave, oh. leave party. So there's a good spot to shoot at the her the hammerhead from if we actually go to the front of it. If they're not going to move too much, then we'll just come to the front here. Right. And we'll kind of sit at the range we want to. Because we're obviously outside of range right now for him, so don't fire until we're in range. Okay. So there we go. There we go. So here we go. Get a little closer here, and we'll begin our corkscrew attack now. This is kind of where we want to sit. We don't really want to get any closer. We don't need to. We can just kind of slowly, again, right? Not really any crazy movements. We haven't taken any hits now. We're just ghost riding right through all the shots. And we've got the front shield taken down to about 15%. Now he's starting to move. Now he realizes, oh shit, I fucked up. And we're going to keep on a nice tight corkscrew. And right, watching our distance. He's in a bad of a back strafe here. And again, we're right, adding a little bit of boost to kind of bump. It's called bumping, right? You see that my ship is kind of bumping here as I close the distance, right? So if the if the hammerheads, well, yeah. Did they? Are they have no shields now? Looks like they're switching to try to get shields back. Yeah, they put all the power to the front shield, didn't they? Looks like it. Something. Or maybe my MFD is just bugged. Oh uh, yeah, no, this shield's coming back. You see it? A little red? Yeah. I'm actually... Put a little power to my shields here. Actually, engines. I'm a little nervous. I might be a little bit too close. Try to aim for the front. Yeah. Right? So, I was saying uh, about this... There was somebody that was in the comments talking about how he's like, oh, it's impossible to solo a hurricane or solo a, a hammerhead. And it's like, you know, I hate to say it, but you're very, very wrong here. You know, we do this a lot in Avenger Squadron, soloing hurricanes and, oh, sorry, hammerheads and stuff like that, right? I mean, so, look at the front of that ship. Like, it's, super, it's just a matter of time, right? Like, he hasn't really hit us at all, right? And again, right, in this little corkscrew pattern, you'll see that, it, it, like, he's getting close to me, but he's just not, there's just not enough, you know, just not enough range, right? And we can kind of keep our... Alright, we can flip the rotation here. So, they're trying to flip their shields. There we go. Still up. Again, right? It's because all my damage is applying. And oh. there it is. Destroyed. Hammerhead versus two man hurricane. Fully fully man hammerhead. All I did was held the trigger. You it, it pretty much lines itself up. Yep. Alright, welcome back guys. Um so this was a question uh that I had seen uh quite a few people make on the Reddit as well as my own stream and the YouTube comments where people were um, were asking me like Avenger like you know you, you claim to be able to solo these hammerheads and all that stuff and you know yet you don't have any video evidence or proof right so I thought I might put this one to rest once and for all and kind of show you in real time here uh, what happens when you take a hurricane and you take on a fully manned Hammerhead. Then this hammerhead had every single one of its guns manned, as you can see here. It was manned by all players, human players, uh, and it was manned by um, members of my organization and other people that like to fly with me who I train on a daily basis. So these pilots are not walk in the door rookie pilots. These pilots know what they're doing. But I just kind of want to explain like what you're watching here so that you can understand 
uh, what's actually happening. Now, if we look closely, we'll notice that there is a constant stream of bullets that are obviously coming towards me, but they're always and forever consistently just not hitting, hitting me. Right? And this is due to what I had talked about previously in a video called Tana 3v1, which is basically I'm slowly making that kind of corkscrew motion. And because of the rotational change in my vector, by the time the bullet gets fired from the hurricane, or sorry, from the hammerhead's barrel, I am no longer in the position that the shot at the time registered would be a hit. Because the distance it takes for the bullet to travel to me is it's just not enough time and the thing is CIG has given us an, an, an opportunity to use what's called fixed assist right and other otherwise known as gimbals and stuff like that for the turrets which I have been very passionate about talking about uh, <laughs> the use of gimbals on turrets um, and this actually in this situation works against what CIG is trying to do in that sense that because the solution is at the time the projectile gets fired, what's known as perfect, it's also assuming that my trajectory at the time of the shot would stay static and not change at all. But as, as long as you make even a small change in your vector, uh, at long ranges, that small change equals uh, a large enough deflection for the shot to permanently and forever miss. And so it, in this situation, there is truly, and I mean truly, nothing, nothing the hammerhead can do to get away from this situation. Um, and it's, it's, it's kind of what I've been talking about uh, previously, right? Uh, this, this issue, obviously, the Redeemer doesn't have because the Redeemer has the ability to close the distance unlike the hammerhead. So... Um, if the Redeemer finds itself in this position, it can actually charge <laughs> like a bull straight towards the hurricane, close the distance, and be able to take out the hurricane. So I just wanted to make this video to show, like I said, once and for all, kind of put this to rest. Um, and again, right, it, if it's done correctly, it looks like what you just saw here. The range control is done. I was backing up and moving forward depending on whether or not the hammerhead wanted to close distance on me or run away. And I think we can clearly see and clearly tell um, what's actually happening here, right? So obviously the game is still developing, but for all you people out there, you people, for all the folks out there who didn't believe me, um, this happens all the time. Um, and you can do this with any ship. You can do this with a Pisces. I mean, theoretically, and I mean, theoretically, you could do this in a Pisces and kill a hammerhead in a Pisces, theoretically. Um, I've never done it. It would take a long time, but theoretically, it's possible if um, if he doesn't flip his shields around, uh, you know, fast enough. But all right, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, take a take a gander at Predator mounts if you guys are interested in getting some mounts for your joysticks. Keep flying, guys. If you get shot down nine times, get up ten. Thank you so much for all the love and support, folks, uh, that you guys have shown me on the stream and on the on the YouTube videos. I really love making content. I really like educating and kind of explaining my point of view. Let's all have a discussion. Let's all grow together because whether we like it or not, guys, we're in this together, right? So let's not let's not try to make enemies here. Let's just try to learn from each other, right? And uh, forgive each other if things don't always work the way we want them to, right? At the end of the day, remember, it's just sometimes people's opinions, right? All right, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. I was Avenger1. Peace.